in. Good morning, Matty Healy. Good morning, Grimmy. You've done one hour and ten minutes. Is that all? Feels like a lifetime. That's not true. That's not true. Is, is this okay? You were really silent then, like I'd really offended you. Oh, yeah. Oh, God. Anyway. I've upset him. Do you want to introduce our guest? Because you are co-hosting. On the show today, we have the Ol Olympian, Tom Daly. Hello. Good morning, Tom Daly. Good morning, Hello. Tom Daly. It's quite underplayed, that intro. <laughs> I said Olympian. I know, but it was quite like, Tom Daly. I'd have gone, Tom Daly! Okay, let me do it again. Okay. <laughs> <clears throat> Sorry, Tom. Up on the show today, sat next to me, we've got our guest, Olympian, Tom Daly! <laughs> yeah! <laughs> I love the bit of like echo on the That was good. Well. He did that naturally himself, yeah, just through his nose. Yeah. Um, good morning, Tom Daly. Good morning. How are you? I'm very well. It's weird being up early because I've been off training for the last like week or so since I've been back from the game. So, uh -huh. like all routine has like gone out the window. So getting up this early is, you know, I don't know how you do it every day. Well, I'm forced to. Well, well there is that. There is <laughs> the that. BBC make me. I don't know how you train every day. Yeah, I mean, when, when I'm training, I don't even think about it. I'm up at like 6 a.m. every morning and don't, you know, you just get into the routine of it. But when I'm not in the routine, like, I don't know what time to go to bed. I don't know when to eat. Like, so what do you do when you're not training? Um, not very much. <laughs> I, I actually end up going and like, working out still because I have I feel like after like three or four days of being in, you know, without actually doing any training, I start getting like really agitated oh, and I yeah, have like man, too yeah. much energy and I have to like yeah, go run, yeah, 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 spin, yeah. Yeah. went white water rafting yesterday. Oh yeah. Yeah, me too actually. Yeah, yeah. me too, me too, did that. <laughs> I, I love that you'd like in your downtime still. from training, you're like, yeah. what should I do? Spinning and white water rafting. That's, that's training. Are you, well, yeah, kind of, but it's not like <laughs> six hours of train, like really intense training. Oh. So it, that kind of, I mean, it's fun for me doing something that's like not necessarily diving or uh, gymnastics or weightlifting, that kind of stuff. Will you, Be train, will you train for six hours when you're getting ready for the Olympics? Yeah, six hours a day, six days a week. Wow. Yeah. That's intense. And is that all diving or like physical training? <laughs> is it sick? In well, the air for se six hours? 70% is actually dry land. So we do like gymnastics, ballet, yeah. trampolining, weightlifting. I go spin classes three times a week. Uh, like I do lots of stuff on the dry land. And then we go into the pool and then that's done off all different heights. 10 metre, 1 metre, 5 metre, 7 metre, like whatever board that is in that pool. <laughs> yeah. When you do the thing, when you go on like the top one and yeah. you jump off and you're like, right, I'm just going to do like nine somersaults and then a backflip. Back <laughs> I wish I could do nine over. somersaults. Well, whatever. But, yeah. It looks like you're doing about 40. <laughs> How do, obviously it's a slow process, but it's like how do you start that? It's like when I see people who do a big jump on a motorbike. So how did you do that for the first time? Yeah. How do you think? Right, here we go. Nine yeah. somersaults and then I'm gonna have some dinner. Well, but it, you start from. I started when I was seven years old, and then you start doing stuff in the gym. So you know, like you see on holiday sometimes those trampolines with like the really weird like bungee cord things. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. My uh, my coach puts me in that belt and then practices those uh, movements on a trampoline and then ho hoists you up and gets you to do the spin. So in theory, you've done the dive dry land before you actually do it in the pool. But it does take a lot of like building up initially from like three meter, then to five meter, then to 10 meter. So it's not just a matter of just going up and doing it for the first time, but... <laughs> yeah, like I just realized <laughs> I mean, the first time that you do it, it is completely like terrifying because you've no idea how it's going to go. Like you've for, for the first time I did a... Uh, forward four and a half somersaults. I'd only ever done a three and a half before, so putting an extra somersault on it, I had no idea what that was going to feel like. But yeah, Mate, I get I, freaked out doing a cartwheel. Know, <laughs> yeah, like. we should do one before. Let's do one now. Cartwheel. Yeah, I can't do one. Okay, well that's I not. Can there. try. Have you ever thought about putting the trampoline? <laughs> yeah. On the diving board. Nice. Some now people do that. As in, like, you see it sometimes in diving shows, you see them put a trampette on the end of the board, they, like, you run to it and do, like, somersaults and crazy stuff. In fact, you, know like, the, you, know, like, you know, like, the cliff divers, the high divers that do, like, from 27 metres, now, they're, they're completely nuts. Um, good for them. I've been up on that board and, like, you wouldn't catch me jumping off a 27-metre board. But they do stuff like that on the 10-metre where they get a trampette because they want to practice the dives for the 27-metre, right. but off a 10-metre, so... Yeah. I, I thought that was like the most insane thing I'd ever said. And you were like, no, no, no that's no, the people thing. Do people yeah, yeah. do do that. Yeah, yeah, Did yeah. you see Beyonce jumping off a boat recently? No, I haven't. She was a, she had great form. I can imagine. She had great form. Dancers usually have good form and yeah. good lines. She really did. She had great yeah. lines. She had her arms like this and wow. her legs very pointed. 
Wow. But then it d- descended into a bomb at the end. Oh, really? Oh, yeah. The old classic. Oh, yeah. 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 Belly flop. Um, can we talk about the loaf of bread that you brought in this moment? <laughs> yeah, well, it's <laughs> not necessarily a loaf of bread, but it's actually the it medal like... box. The medal boxes actually that we were given oh, in Rio were so like... That's a real Olympic A real medal. life yeah. Olympic medal. Congratulations, Tom. Can Thank they you see very that? Much. Um, can they see... How do you see that? Look at yeah, that. that's it. Oh, this oh, camera, yeah. this camera here. How Look sick is that? that? And the box is I, chic. Well, the box is very chic. It's, it's very Tom Ford, the box. Yeah. It is. Pull it out because it's actually... More Tom Daly. Tom Daly. <laughs> yeah, not exactly. Tom Ford. Yeah, but I actually confused, thought Tom had yeah. walked in this morning with a big loaf of can bread. I, can I get <laughs> I like, Yeah, of course. Why has he got a loaf of bread with him? Um, wh- where does the medal go, Tom? And like when you get that, like you, obviously you travel home with it, you've got it. Do you like put them up on the wall? Do you keep I, it in the box? Like where do you put it? I've, I, well, I keep it in the box, but I've got like a trophy cabinet. So I literally just put like medals and everything Sick. like that in that cabinet. Sick. So when your friends come around, are they like, oh, Giz got on the medal? Yeah. <laughs> but I'm um, actually on Saturday, I had like a gathering with loads of friends, like as an Olympic celebration. Wow. And it did come out at one point, and you know the medal was passed around, and there was selfies. I don't know what happened with it's it. If heavy. I'm honest, it's heavier than you think it'd be, right? Well, yeah, I was, I was, I was thinking it might be a bit like. You know, you know when you see them in real life, you're like, oh, it's a bit naff, actually. Yeah, it's not naff. I can guarantee that it's not naff. 100 percent not naff. Yeah, it's the thing good, is, any so other well. any other medal usually is a little bit naff. Like, a, a, like yeah, if you get like a compared well, like, to like a national games. Champ- games. Come off games medals were actually beautiful. They were beautiful those medals. <laughs> but like, if you compare it to like national championships, then they're like, yeah, yeah, yeah no. international championships. Get Whatever. your medals sorted out. <laughs> sort it out. But it's proper heavy those medals. Let's have a go on it. <laughs> 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 Tom, I've got loads of science questions to ask you about d- d- uh, diving. Yeah. So, like in cartoons, right, when they would do that thing where they jump and <laughs> land in a glass of water, do you reckon that's true, or do you reckon that's them just being silly? I mean, I don't know. I've never tried it. I mean, we could try that in here. It depends how big the glass of water is. I'm probably not into like a little mug. But... I've got a feeling, sadly, that they're being silly, but I was just yeah. hoping that it might be the case. Yeah. Yeah. I have actually seen a couple of memes where they were like, did that and edited like in the Olympics, like people diving into those. Well, like, is that because they made the, po- the well the, the pool was green? It was green, which made a good <laughs> green screen environment. But can you tell us why the pool was green? Yeah, well, basically, what happened was normally for basically, for example, if you've got a diving pool, swimming pool, whatever you like, it's either a chlorine pool or a bromine pool. Like, what's use, bromine? So it's a similar it's thing like to chlorine. Bros. It's more laddie. There's more lads in it. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So <laughs> we'd hang in the bro. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah, we would. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> So you either have a chlorine or bromine, but if you put both in, it cancels it out. So what happened was, I think one of the, um, I don't know who it was exactly, but someone took over cleaning of the pool and uh, they put a big dose of bromine in the chlorine pool, which then cancelled it out and then it just was untreated for a week. So, so it was science. Just, you went very Brian Cox then. It was really science. Very science. Yeah. <laughs> really, really, yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Who, do we, who put the bro in the pool? <laughs> I have no idea. Eight double one double nine. <laughs> that was you. Tell us, because it did look like gross, didn't it? No, it was. It had stuff floating in it. Oh. Like it was, yeah. I think a few people, yeah. Because we read out your tweet, because you were like, "What's happened?" <laughs> you yeah. literally tweeted something like that. Because it literally happened like like overnight. We came in the next day, and the pool was green. And they were like, "Oh no, it's because of the um, the just being outdoors and people." like swimming in it and like the sun cream blah 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 yeah. and they were like right okay but then what happened to the other pool that everyone's swimming in as well because that one was completely that one clear was all right. um, so but yeah and they had to like change the water of the other pool because for the diving pool it wasn't as important for it to be crystal clear because like for the synchronised swimmers they have to actually see each other underwater yeah. whereas for us it was kind of scary though because you'd see someone dive in and you wouldn't see them they at all until they were on the surface <laughs> but then some of them are still in there yeah, yeah someone is, i mean some of them might be yeah, in there. yeah. it's the latvians never came back they never they're still there <laughs> what um why do you get in that jacuzzi afterwards i don't to get be in fair, the jacuzzi. I, didn't see you in the jacuzzi I don't yet. get in the jacuzzi i'm not a fan of the jacuzzi in the diamond pool because you know when i feel like everyone go in the jacuzzi to pee do you think? Oh, yes. Disgusting. It's just a toilet. Do you yeah, think? I, I, it was a bit off. It, well, the colour was a bit. The colour green, was like. never right. It was never right. No, was it? and I think that's what they use that those hot tubs for. They oh. do not. Yeah, so that's why I stick to the shower because the shower you at least you can like, wee in that. And no, no. Well, <laughs> well, if somebody wees in it, you're not going to be like bathing in it. You yeah, know? they're supposed to be Olympians just bathing in each other's. Oh, urine. some Olympians are filthy. Oh. Like who? Here, here we go. Come on, oh, name gosh. names. I can't name any names. <laughs> yes, you can. You know, I, I, I mean, living with living, living with the. Um, I, I mean, we <laughs> in the Olympic Village. You like live with all of the um, all of your teammates and stuff. So I was living in an apartment with 
Jack, Chris, yeah. the synchro partner Dan and Freddie, one of the other divers. And by the end of it, like I, it was. It Everyone's was just covered in wind. Absolutely, <laughs> we like, everywhere. The, the living room was just a mess. We. It was just no, no we, no we, no we. Have you ever weed in the pool? Be honest. Um, I mean, who hasn't weed in the pool at exactly. one point? When was the last That's time you weed in a pool? That, uh, last time I weed in the pool. Because I think I've not done it since I was like. Maybe like 15 or something. Yeah, the thing I don't is, think I've done it as like a fully fledged adult. I've, no. go, I've gone into the sea to do a wee a couple of times. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah, but, but where like, else, you know, where else can like... you go for, for a wee on the beach? They exactly. don't have like toilets necessarily. Although, now, like, if you're like used to getting in the water and getting in the pool to train and stuff, you go for a wee before you get in. It's kind of a thing. But that have you, you ever weed in the pool? At I've weed in it, not at the Olympics, I've <laughs> weed in the pool. But I'm sure a lot of them, I'm, I know for a fact that a couple of my teammates definitely do and they're very proud of it. So. Yeah. Well, there's enough bro mean. A lot of bro mean to apparently so, so kill it. fine, yeah. Well, unless it's, you know, no bro mean and then it just goes green. So. Yeah. And then you like float and there's like, oh, it's like bits that go in your mouth. It, it was, oh. honestly, it was, it was so disgusting. Come on, Rio, I'll sort it out. I was like, literally coming to the surface, like trying not to like put my head under or open my eyes. And it was, yeah, it was an interesting, yeah. Time, <laughs> but you know, swap sounds, interesting for disgusting. Awful. Yeah, well done, though. Yeah, well, oh, <laughs> yeah, I, I managed to withstand it. <laughs> and you won a medal, so yeah. well done. Oh, thank you. Uh, Tom Daly is here. Me and Matty Healy are gonna be chatting to him more after Kiko Bone on Radio One. For yeah. the rest of time. Maybe. Um, Tom Daly is here. Good morning, Tom Daly. Hello, good morning. Would you be up for a co-host ever? Yeah, why not? Yeah. Let's do it. Could be all right, couldn't yeah, it? Yeah, you could hey, do that. We could do the radio times diving. Yes. Times music. So music, dive, no. Anyway, you want to do it's live not, music it's not gonna in, work. in the water? Yeah, it's not going to work. Health Absolute nightmare. Um, Tom Daly is here with his Olympic medal. Yes. And we were just saying during that record, that is like the, that's the coolest thing to have. I mean, it's something that, like, when you're a kid, like, and you want to be a diver or you want to be any kind of athlete, when you go to the Olympics, that's, like, the pinnacle of, yeah. it, like, your sporting career. And to get, a, you know, a medal, like, I was I was so chuffed in London and then chuffed again this time to get another medal, so. Can you just feel, like, that, like, insane support? Because the country gets so obsessed with the Olympics. I love and, like, it. And being British and Team GB. And, like, can, do you get a sense of that when you're out there? Or does it feel, does it feel like an exciting thing that they're behind you? Or do you feel like, oh, my God. The pressure is on. Well, in, in London, we kind of knew, like, what was going on because you're in, you know, your home country. You've got all the, um, you can see all the press. You yeah. can see all of that kind of stuff. So you're a bit more aware of it. Whereas when we were in Brazil, like, you're in the Olympic Village and you don't really know what's going on outside of it unless yeah. you actively look for it. So we just kind of did our thing and was just, you know, obviously training and competing. And it was only until we got, wasn't until we got back that we were like, oh, wow. Like, everybody absolutely loved it. Yeah. And they're like, people got obsessed with these Olympics just as much as London 2012, which is, you know, incredible to me to think that people are really like still on the Olympic bars. Yeah, totally are. Um, but we have some really serious questions, don't we, Matty? We're oh, going to yeah, be yeah, talking yeah, yeah. Um, about like, the future of sport, um, some rumours that we heard from fellow Olympians about you. We've done some research oh, okay. involving a sink. Um, <laughs> we want to talk about the wedding. We yes. also have some serious questions about trunks, yeah. which we're going to get into in a little while. Okay. Um, but for now, uh, this is Izzy Bizu and White Tiger on Radio 1. Here. And he is here. I'm here. It's all right. It's all right. You know Matty Healy. That one from the 1975. Yeah. <laughs> that guy. Don't know I said that. Um, how are you enjoying it so far? Very good. Yeah? Yeah, great stuff. Okay. Um, <laughs> <laughs> really loving it. Really having the time of his life. It's good. No, it's yeah. good fun, yeah. yeah. Um, we have um, loads of questions. Matty on Grimmy is trending. Matty on Grimmy. Yeah. I um, like that. So loads of questions that we've got to get through in a second, but we've, we've still got our guest here. Do you want to... We've got to ask you questions, Tom Daly. Yeah. Tom First Daly question. is here, everybody. Hello. So, oh, yeah. Here he is. <laughs> do you know what you have to do? After, <laughs> after the news and the song, you basically have to... Reset. Reset. Yeah. It's like the previously on... Like, yeah. Whatever. On basically Matty that. Grimmy. Before the news, you, you missed Tom Daly. should have like a splash noise or something for when Tom comes. I can do one with my water. <laughs> now here's Tom Daly. <laughs> Tom, was, like that? I mean, that was quite. Tom's good. face was like literally looking through the glass to his agent, like, get me out. <laughs> I mean, well, your sparkling water might be flat now, but it was all in the aid of a uh, good quality radio. Tom Daly's here. <laughs> Tom Daly's here. 
<laughs> that was that was actually better. That, that actually was yeah, quite good. Yeah. That was quite good. Yeah. Um, any anything you want to know from Tom Daly? Because Tom's been on the show many times before. We've interviewed each other. No, each other. I've interviewed you. Yeah. You've never interviewed me. No, I've never very interviewed, selfish yeah, of you, actually, yeah. Tom. <laughs> um, but Matty, what do you want to ask Tom well, Daly? Well, I mean, yeah, it seems like when you see the Olympics, uh, they don't actually ask serious questions or right. proper questions that need to be answered, such as, well, for example, you know, do you have to wear them little trunks, or could you? Wear like a nice pair of, you know, kind of tropical uh, bill billboard, not billboard, a billabong <laughs> yeah, kind of, yeah, kind of like a board shot. Yeah, well, no, you could if you really wanted to. That's what them. I wanted to know. If you really like, wanted to, but one, like, if you wear them, they're quite heavy and they're like more restricting to move in. Plus, uh, you know, trunks keep every like the. You know, little mini trunk things keep everything in place. But how, Tom? How? But how? Because I. How does it keep to, it in place? Well, it's just like if I jump in the pool, historically, yeah. they just come off. They just. And this is just off. a regular short. It's because Matty regular. and I had regular uh, shorts. Yeah. yeah. With a, with, that's why they're quite. I mean, they're quite tight. And so it keeps everything in place. And you can, like, tie them up so they don't fall off. Because we were saying earlier, and we had quite the discussion about it before you came in. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And we were like, if you're on your holidays, <laughs> Right, and you just jump in the pool and you've got shorts on. I am guaranteed at least one cheek is coming out of those shorts. Yeah, uh, guaranteed. But do you yeah. actually? I can't rem- yes, I can't remember a time when I've jumped in and I've not had to put yeah. something it away. So, because uh, you get out of that pool and it's like all the water comes off you. And it's like, like Daniel like, Craig. Yeah, and you jump out and it's like you don't even have to use your arms to get out. <laughs> <laughs> when I get <laughs> out of the pool, <laughs> I'm like, <laughs> and then I'm like, pull my chest, my head, my, my chin comes out on the side, then my chest. And then I pull like an elephant seal. Yeah, but you like adjust like wh- you adjust everything when you're in the water, so that when you get out, you can just like get out and just go back up the stairs and do another dive. Well, you're very good at it. It's very good. At it. <laughs> very good. At very it. Good a lot of good practice. At it. I'm just thinking like tan wise, because if because if you went on holiday, you'd have to wear swim uh, speedos all the time, because that would be my problem with doing the dive, because you've got that top bit of your thigh. That me and George call the Siberian thigh, <laughs> that, no, that nobody ever gets to see <laughs> on just an average, uh, wh- uh, average male, and um, so I'd be a bit self-conscious in speed. Uh. <laughs> yeah, but then you, you, one, we do a lot of outdoor training, so you kind of get rid of those tan lines. But, but do you do training in the speedo outside? Yes, when we're diving Ooh, outside. For tan be, line only? No, for training. Like okay. I train in them all the time. Like, And if I'm on holiday, I tend to wear shorts because, you know, you don't, it's not really, you know, I mean, it's not for me, but like lots of people. I suppose if someone saw you in speed, they'd be like, oh, it's Tom Daly. He's going to dive! <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> or if they saw him in shorts, it's, about, it's just some black. I mean, like, like wearing like speedos on a beach is like a little bit, I don't know, sometimes it's a little bit much. People do it and it's fine, but uh, yeah, I wear shorts. And if I lay down to sunbathe, just roll them up a little bit so I don't get the tan line. Yeah. Because if you get a tan line, it's not going to look cool like wearing your like, trunks. And oh, OMG, like, no, it's not. It's not going to look cool. Yeah, no, it'd be like a farmer's tan, but on your legs. Yeah. <laughs> do you know like when you do Strictly, not that I've ever done it, but I've heard this, Yeah. Uh, that you have to, they like, right, Fridays is spray tan day. Oh, wow. Really? Do they make divers do that? Because I did notice everyone looked so healthy, or is it because you're athletes? It's because we're outdoors. <laughs> tra- like in the, Re- the Rio Olympics were outdoor training, so we were just diving outside in the Where? sun. Where? What day. country? In Brazil. Oh, <laughs> oh yeah. Where the Olympics were. Yeah, 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 no. I, 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 get, I get it now. I just, I just sometimes... And we were in it. Florida just before that doing a training camp, so we had, like, been in the sun, like, training and all that kind of stuff. You so. could do it on half the price in Bognor Regis. I know a great swimming baths in Bognor. Yeah. That would have bolt and baths. Exactly, bolt and baths. Really I think good. it closed down, maybe. Anyway. They've got a good one in Manchester, haven't they? Yeah, they do. They had the Commonwealth Games there. Yeah. In Manchester. Yeah. yeah, all good. Were that you there? Happened. Or were you about 10? I was, uh, yeah, I wasn't very, I was 1994, so what's that? I was eight. Yeah. Wow. So, not ready yet. You don't have been doing it a year. But, how yeah. old are you now? 22. And you're getting married. Yeah, I know. When's, when's the wedding? Well, the date officially hasn't been set yet, but we're thinking sometime early next year, maybe spring next year. How exciting. I know. It's so grown up, isn't it? Very grown up. Very grown up. Are Matty and I come in all day or just to the night? Oh, absolutely. Invited all day. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Well, he says that now. Yeah. No, you're in. <laughs> Me trying to dive into a glass of water at three o'clock in the morning. <laughs> <laughs> come on, Tom! Come on, Tom! He's promised. We'll all be trying that. <laughs> Crikey. Yeah. But, but I've, I've no idea about, like, where it's going to be, what's going to happen, because Lance currently is Will it be in... diving themed? 
No, uh, oh. it's swimwear only. That's a dress. That's amazing. Oh, oh, that would be sick. <laughs> imagine that would be really good for you and for no one else. <laughs> You're just like, all right, guys, I'm getting married. <laughs> yeah. Well. Oh, yeah. So where, been... where's Lance? He's a, is he away? He's in LA at the moment because he's working on a mini series right. called When We Rise. So he's out editing that. So I'm flying out to join him next week. So uh, I'll be in LA. Yeah, so as of next week. Your for boyfriend's a few weeks. called Lance, who's editing a series in LA. Yeah, done pretty well, hasn't he? Done all right. Yeah, yeah. Right. it's quite good, isn't it? Should we practice saying that? My boyfriend's in LA editing a series, so. I still don't believe yeah. you, but it yeah. does sound yeah. good. It does sound quite good. Sounds good in, in an old accent. Yeah, I've got to go LA. And Lance is doing his finger. <laughs> <laughs> and we've got to ask you, Tom, about the sync because we had uh, Chris uh, Mears and Jack Law on. Um, Scott's show. Yes. I forgot Scott Mills' his name. <laughs> yeah, that, was <laughs> that was rude. Sorry, Scott. Um, and, and they told an incredible story about you, like, trashing the place with the sink or something. Were you trying to dive into it? I, well, I wouldn't say I was trashing the place. So they, initially... That's what we they went, said. When we went to the village, there were some plumbing issues. Mm -hmm. So you weren't allowed to, like, flush any, like, toilet paper or anything down... Yeah, so right, it was so hang on, the weird. pool was hanging it's and the toilet It's a fecal base. But, our, but the thing is, yeah. our, our room was actually all right. Like, right. I did, everything worked as normal. But I was brushing my teeth and all of a sudden the sink wobbled. And I was like, what the hell's going on? Like, I put, like, was leaning on the sink. And then the next thing I know, the like, water was just gushing out onto the floor and the sink had just completely detached. And it just wasn't, it was never actually glued or like whatever onto the like basin or whatever. So <laughs> I just, just like literally, I, I, I was like, what the, what on earth's going on? I picked up the sink and it literally had detached from you're everything. You're like a Hulk. You are, you <laughs> can't lean on sinks because you're 90% muscle. Oh, is we it? can lean on sinks. Tom Daly, you can't lean on sinks. Don't come around my house and lean on my sink. Yeah, so no, I no longer lean on sinks, but then I could literally pick up the sink and then I was like, oh my God. And then I brought it into Jack <laughs> and Chris. I was like, look what's just happened. And I had a sink in my I'd hand. love to go, come into my hotel room to find you cradling a sink. <laughs> <laughs> not, no, not knowing your own strength. Yeah. It's I, like, Tom, smash. Should but, we try and get Tom Daly to rip a sink off the wall oof. at the BBC? <laughs> oh, that would be... Should that we would do that? Trend on Twitter. That would be sick. Yeah, yeah I don't think I want... Come on, let's trash the joint. You can't vandalise the BBC. Yeah, you can if you want. You've got, <laughs> no, got a medal, you can. No. <laughs> yeah, if you've got one of those. If Matty did it, he'd never be played again. But exactly. Tom Daly, he's got a medal, come on. Yeah, you're like a proper yeah. Olympian. Yeah, they'd let you off, yeah. <laughs> um, right, we're going to play another song, and then we're going to chat more to uh, Tom and Matty after this. Let's get that sync. Oh, yes. See Radio 1, Tom Daly is here. Good morning. Good morning. And Matty Healy is here, co-hosting the show today. Good, Good morning. morning. Hey, should we do your shout out? Yeah, well, Lance is actually listening in LA right now. He stayed up until like 1 a.m. Oh, Lance, that's why. Bless Lance. That's why you got to marry him. Yeah, yeah. exactly. Yeah. Stays up until 1 a.m. Dedication. Yeah, Rock and roll. Dedication. Would you stay up late to listen to a loved one on the radio? Uh, no, no, I don't not. think I <laughs> Not if I was getting married to them, because I think, oh, I don't need to impress them now. The deal is sealed. So whatever. Exactly. I'll just be lying there, like, hashtag whatever. Text them maybe hashtag whatever, and then go to sleep. Yeah. <laughs> That's why we're not getting married. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, probably. Yeah. <laughs> um, we want to ask you about your, your medal, because on Saturday you said, you know, you had your friend round. Yes. And it's the first time that you can, you know, let your hair down and, yeah. and, and not be focused and not be so regimented. And, you know, it's important to do that. Yes. Have you ever, like misplaced your medal and be like, do you know what, I've actually lost my Olympic medal. Well, I did wake up on Sunday and I looked in the um, trophy cabinet and the Rio 2016 wasn't there. So I was like, where is that? Anyway, I found it up in the living room. But I also had a panic about the London one because like, the London one is not there. And I looked around the house <laughs> and then I suddenly realised my mum borrowed it, took it to Plymouth because she'd been going into like schools to <laughs> show around the medal. But I had a, literally a sudden panic. I was like, I've lost the medal. She just takes what, like, your mum used to come into your room in the morning and just be like, I'm just taking your washing. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I'm just taking your Olympic. But, like, I haven't, like, she took it like a month ago and I haven't, I haven't got it back yet. And I, and I just sat, like, I completely forgot. And I came back and I was like, it's gone. Mum, mum, God, mum. God, mum. Yeah. Mom. yeah. Stop taking my medal. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so, but I, it's, still, it's still down in Plymouth, so I'm not, don't know when I'm next going to get it. Don't but. lose it, mum. I know. Did you, just, did you ever do anything with it? Did you put it on to do the, like, hoovering? <gasps> no, have you, honestly, have you ever put it on to do, like, sexy stuff? No, not to do sexy stuff. No? But it's something, you I, never I put feel your like diving gear Olympian. on and your, your little bronze medal and being like, no. no, but sometimes you do have to put it on like naked just to like just, just to see what it looks like. Just to see. Oh, 
I like that. I'd wow. put it on. Yeah, I think yeah. I would as well. Yeah. If you, if you, I mean, you've had a trophy. Cabinet. But I just reckon I'd look at myself in the middle on naked and just be like, "Oh, that's sad." <laughs> 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 uh, Is this ironic or something? <laughs> <laughs> What's the, we want to know some gossip then, because you uh, Olympics aside, the actual games and the competing. Once it ends, yeah, we were just saying there's thousands of people, yeah, who have basically got like the first break in four years, yeah, who are all together. Is it insane? Is it, I imagine it's like skins. Yeah, yeah, it's pretty much it like ends. that. I mean, to be honest, it's one of those things that, like, like you said, people are in like peak physical condition, and Oof. it gets to a point where, like, you, you know, you've been training so hard, you've been so strict to yourself, and then it's like a big release, a big release, oh. exactly. And then you, <laughs> everyone else goes out, like, you know, people go out drinking, and then come back, and you know, everyone's in the Olympic Village, and uh -huh. there's that kind of environment. So you know, oh, so what there. you're saying oh. is it. Yes. Gets a bit sexy. Yeah, gets it a does. Bit saucy. Yes. Fun. Not for not for engaged. Get no, not for people, engaged. But so what? <laughs> yeah, you'll just you know. see a little. Um, you'll see like a a French ballerina hanging out with a Korean bodybuilder. Yeah. And then you know yeah, a Latvian shot putter with an old uh, see, German cyclist. Yeah, we maybe. heard this thing about um about not to be rude, but we heard about condoms, didn't we? That a lot we of did. people. That they were providing condoms. Forty-two a person they had. In Forty-two, 42 a, person. a person. And what are you there for? I know, but it's, that's a weird thing, though. You, they're all in the dining hall. And there's this man that walks around with a bag full of condoms, and people like go up to him and say, "Can I have one, please?" I just and love the idea that he's in a Latvian shop, put a running over, like, "Have you got any left? I need six. <laughs> and it is kind of insane, actually, the kinds of people that you just see walking up, and you just see like I don't know, a Korean weightlifter go up and just be like, <laughs> like literally just go to the machine and take them as if nothing's. Happening and like isn't there a vend? Like I heard there's a, the, there's a vending machine of them. Yeah, a vending. I'd machine. be so disappointed that there wasn't like a crunch in if that I vending machine. If I turned up to the Olympics <laughs> to see what was going on, and I realised it was just kind of some big endorsed sex fest. <laughs> <laughs> I'd be a bit annoyed. I'd be like, take this more seriously. <laughs> they aren't taking it seriously. This is after they've is done. After. The, the, they've dedicated yeah, their lives after. to a sport. Because you're all just humans. They're humans. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, you're humans. Yeah. yeah. Um, Tom, what happens now? Because now is you know the, all the hype after the yes. event. It must feel quite weird to go back to normal life. Yeah, it's a little bit weird. Like I'm completely done with training now, so I've got a couple of months off. Yeah. And I'm able to go and. You know, eat what I want, drink what I want. What's the know, first thing up. you eat after you have to train? Like, what, what, where's your go-to? Like, the worst thing that you could not eat for the last two years? Well, the thing is, I eat everything kind of slightly in moderation. But I didn't drink for two years leading up to the Olympics. So Saturday night was the first time that I like was able to like really wind down and uh -huh. like chill with my friends and have a few drinks. But in terms of food, I've got a massive sweet tooth. So in like. Cheesecake is a winner for me. Treacle sponge, sticky toffee pudding. Yet to have the treacle sponge and sticky toffee pudding, so I think that's going to be on the card. That's a British dessert. So yeah, you're a patriot all around, yeah. aren't you? Really? Yeah. I'm, I'm union trifle. Good as British, well. British <laughs> trifle yeah. things. Yeah, Yorkshire pudding. <laughs> yeah. I just like Yorkshire pudding and trifle. <laughs> I'm not a fan of trifle. I don't like the alcohol in it. Don't spoil it. Don't spoil it. Yeah, don't spoil it. <laughs> My grandma's trifle's good though. Yeah. Yeah. She doesn't put any like booze in it. So. Oh no, I don't like a boozy trifle. I don't no. like a boozy dessert. Oh, the tiramisu has that got booze in it. Depends yeah. on. Posh it is. Sometimes. Tiramisu is booze. Is it? I think so, yeah. It's, it's like, like coffee and booze, isn't it? Oh, yeah, well, I like that one. Coffee oh, that's a bit grown up, isn't it? Yeah, a little bit. Mm. Yeah. Anyway, we're talking about tiramisu now. <laughs> <laughs> Probably time to wrap this up. <laughs> um, Tom, thank you for coming in. Uh, no problem, anytime. Thank you, Tom. It was thank great you. to see you. And that was that was Matty's first interview as a Radio 1 DJ. It was good, wasn't it? That was amazing. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it was. You ain't gonna get a medal for life. <laughs> <laughs>